How do you see the world? Let's look at it like this. Our world's climate is changing quickly and scientists are 95% certain that we are the main cause. Everything that we love will be affected by climate change. In the UK, we may be starting to see some effects of climate change, but the impacts are much more serious for people living in poverty overseas. From typhoons or floods, destroying entire communities, to unpredictable seasons for farmers, the changes are undoing years of work to stop poverty. Did you know that 44% of the people most vulnerable to climate change already live on less than 77p a day? Martin from Myanmar survived a severe cyclone. He says, everything was crushed. It looked like all our houses and roads had never been there. Can you believe that 90% of people who die in natural disasters live in the poorest countries? Veronica from Kenya says, the river has been drying up, which means uncertainty for the food crops. It's a fact that if the earth heats up by two to three degrees over the next 20 years, an extra 200 million people will be at risk of hunger. That's more than three times the number of people in the UK. But it's not just about one-off events. Changes to our climate can have devastating knock-on effects, starting chains of events that force many people deeper into poverty. The president for the World Bank says, if we don't confront climate change, we won't end poverty. But we can do something about it. In 2015 and beyond, confronting climate change is our challenge. Millions of people are committed to stopping it. Let's look at some ways we can tackle it. We can make the move to sustainable energy. It doesn't harm the environment and will last for future generations too. Sustainable energy can reduce poverty overseas by providing power for water systems to grow crops, provide lights in schools so people can study. It can also power fridges so medicines can be stored safely. In the UK, we can play our part by choosing to live a bit more sustainably, maybe by eating less meat, buying fewer new things and turning off the power when we don't need it. But we can't do it alone. Let's join all our voices to demand that politicians around the world work together to tackle climate change and make the move to sustainable energy. How can they ignore that? So why do we care? It's all about love. Not a flowers and chocolates love. It's a love that puts its life on the line for its mates. It's a love that never walks by looking the other way. A love that dares to respect God, people and creation. It doesn't matter how you get involved, it just matters that you do. Together, we do have the power to tackle climate change. So, how do you see the world?